close it. Oh. Oh. Mother has forgotten to lock the door. Chris is struggling with his hair. I keep missing it. But honestly, trust me, no, just missing. give up. What do you mean give up? I've had, what, 21 years of training, I was still can't do it. So that he'd already hit the ball. Yeah. Like they share that ashes quite a lot, but that's not the World Cup. Everyone else, yeah. Christy, like my death. No, I do actually. It's fine. These two are the cringiest couple. Oh, <laughs> what? After voting on most likely to lose yeah, passport. Really said, Where's my passport? <laughs> oh, Lou, are you in the boot? Are you in the back? Oh no. Hold on to your hat, Louis. Bye. Bye. And then there were three months dropping Will off now. We still unfortunately have not seen Trevor. I reckon it's because there were lots of people and lots of new smells and stuff. Just put some milk out for her. I'm gonna try and bait her. Mum said she saw little dusty footprints on the car from the other day. So I'm just hoping she's about. We have heard a cat. Meows are pathetic enough to be Trevor's. Wow, my brows are very intense on camera. Ooh, I'm also just a walking fruit basket. Oh, the strawberries. Oh, the lemons. And then my fingers, lemons on it as well. <laughs> I'm very, you know, consistent. There's some milk in there. So let's see if that does anything. Trevor! Cato! I'd love to know though, can someone explain to me why the French put the plug here and not down there? Because with the fridge as well. Why is it up here? Why is it not at the bottom? Someone explain this to me. Why, why, why is this? It frustrates me deeply, so I would just like to know. Because I can't, I don't understand the logical reason for it, so. <laughs> it's a bit mystery <mistrally> today. <laughs> Party supplies have been removed. dishwasher the like pump that stops it from like come makes it come down slowly isn't working so i opened it and it's it like whacked my leg and then scraped all my skin off good afternoon everyone ow hey pretty hello hey vlog you know how much fun wearing my clothes is do you know what's more fun than wearing my clothes wearing Chris's clothes i've only ever worn that one I look really cute in it though. I, don't, I feel like I'm Harry Styles now. What are they discussing for 10 marks? Whether you look good in it or not. I think I look great. <laughs> so I have Christopher in front of me. Trevo has unfortunately not been sighted. However, we have evidence that there is a Trevo knocking about, which I'm about to show Chris. What is these? What are these? What are these? Do you see them, Chris? Do you see the little footprints? No, look at it, look at it. There it is! I like the footprint. That's a cat footprint. This is a rental car. So these are recent, this is recent evidence. There is, in fact, a Trevo in the area. There they are! Ah, uh, yeah, they're little footprints. Why are you marching me back? What are you marching me back for? Big top. Big top. How dare you! <laughs> Ooh. Chris! Get your nose out the food! 
so super cool. Mm -hmm. I wasn't filming you, but you can always be the smelly face. Smelly face! Ooh. 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 I think this dish is gonna be good. It's very liquid. Oh, mom. Yeah, you have to pour a bit quicker, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, come on. There. Um, um. So I just want to decide what I'm going to leave here. So we did see Trevor last night, didn't we, Chris? Yeah. We saw her from our bedroom window. We heard some like quite pathetic meows again, being like, give me attention, ah, I want attention. And I looked out and I did actually see her walk. She, I saw her walk between here and then she was sat down there. And we came downstairs to like have a look if she was okay and pet her and stuff, but now she was gone again. So we're wondering if maybe something happened to her while we were gone that's made her like a bit more timid. Like I get if she didn't come because there were loads of us and when she would have come, she'd been coming in the evenings and then we would have all been here, a loud music. So I think we just, when we're just here, when I'm here again, I just, I'm just, i sure she'll like cozy up to us again. She needs some time. So the Trevor has been confirmed spotted, just not been confirmed petted, so. That, that's, your, that's your Trevor update for this vlog. You comfy? Mm -hmm. I might be a book if you actually read now. Uh, ah, I've read like 40. I like this one, I guess, because it hides your face. Yeah, they have good beer goggles. scene. <laughs> what a funny lion. So I'm going to pack my back. Thirds, he said. That's pretty good for thirds, isn't it? Pretty decent. Hey, pretty. Bye, house. See you very soon. Brother, are you sure you don't want to come say bye to us? It's hot. It's, it's very hot, Chris. This is something mighty unusual. Oh ah, yeah, and the official wine of the festival is un vaqueras. Yeah, that's quite good, isn't it? Get over the bridge and then... It's, it's definitely something. La musique de Louis Antoine Lefebvre venait chez Oh, did you know, Chris, that a big truck yeah. ran into the pool that It's over there! You said the big opera. Bye. That way. Don't get lost! Uh, oh, that's a big truck. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a big truck. Uh, oh, no, just, oh, no, oh, no. That's not one in there. Oh my god, it's twice, it's two! Oh no, someone's there. I would not want to be in that car right now. We're going to McDonald's. <laughs> love driving into industrial estates, don't we love? There was a McDonald's thing that said chicken, but then I looked at it again, apparently it said check-in, so. Oh my God, mum, I tried four times to send a Chris a text message about baguettes. My finest spelling was B-A-G-G-E-T-S.
Hello, hello. I really want to say good morning to you, but it's actually almost five o'clock. I've spent most of this morning editing and working. For example, one of the things I just had to just do was I keep telling myself, oh, I can't colour grade. And then the other part of me just got so sick of me going, that I've just finally downloaded it. It's called um, Da Vinci Resolve. One of the versions is free, the other version is £299, so I downloaded the free version. One thing people just don't seem to understand is like, if you want to learn how to do something with software and just it's all on YouTube, literally every single thing you want to do, you type in a tutorial for it, you will find it. So now I already know. And my main thing was, can I actually export something, like a project from Final Cut Pro into DaVinci and then back again? I can. Apparently you need to do something, like export it as like an XML file, and it just sort of, if you, cause it saves all of your videos and stuff in the same location, so you're not copying anything, I think. So basically it just saves like, how you've arranged everything so it's like a tiny tiny file like a couple megabytes um instead of the 60 gigabytes my laptop seems to want to export and i'm like no 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 so i managed to like learn how to do that some of the titles that i had in final cut pro wouldn't load in davinci so i'm just trying to figure out how how that works if it's like a version compatibility because i've got davinci now resolve 15 there is a 16 but i don't know if that's quite new so i'm like how I uh, don't know. I'm just figuring it out and it's a thing I really enjoy and I just love the learning curve on it. I really also want to get Adobe After Effects. I know Ophelia's going to tell me that I can colour grade on Premiere Pro but the thing is it's like when you get to such a high level with one kind of software that is basically the same thing as the other one why would you like go back to ground zero? It's a, that emotional like but, but just the mental barrier to even try and learn something new from scratch is like <laughs> um, and I know I need to do it. I know I do. Um, just not right now. <laughs> Mainly because I want to colour grade my film and also I just, the problem is I film so much on my iPhone but like the quality is shit and Final Cut Pro, you just can't colour grade on Final Cut Pro. I don't know what is wrong with this software or why they wouldn't add some like decent colour grading stuff to it but it's shit. So I'm trying to like do what I can with it. So I just enjoy having all the new software. I'm like oh ho, this is fun. Also I've been looking at like editing jobs and all of them are like Da Vinci experience with Da Vinci Resolve and I'm like one of the things is like, I find quite shocking is when people are like, oh yeah, internship, we're not going to pay you. I'm like, you want somebody with a very specialised set of skills, with very expensive equipment and software, and you don't want to pay them? It's not a normal internship. Like, I'm not going to running around getting you coffee. Like, you'd have, you pay people for internships. It's slave labour. I'm really against unpaid internships. Like, deeply, I find them deeply morally wrong and troubling. But we're not going to get into this right now because it's a whole other discussion. But I think, bottom line, pay someone for the work they do. Now I want to go get food and drop off some rather film. Adam, are you coming with me to get the food? Adam? Then you can buy biscuits? Which supermarket? Waitrose. Please! You little shit! What? I'm wearing my jumper. Uh, you mean our jumper? I mean, I mean, we mean dad's jumper, but add it back. And it's more my style. That, what does that mean? These three uh, disposable cameras I took to France with me for the graduation station. And this is Louis' roller film. Everyone go, ooh, Louis shoots film. How exciting. Yay. Apparently, Louis also gives the rolls of film to my grandma to develop. And that's now giving one to me to develop. So Louis has no idea how to do this himself. It's a limit. I look so much more tan now that I'm in the UK. Yay! Welcome to another edition of How Many Wanky Things Can I Ever Say in the Space of Five Minutes? <gasps> Oi! I hope it's not closed this time. It looks weird, Adam. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it looks... That one is off, right? Yeah, yeah I know, it's turned off. Thank you, Mummy. I was just going to tell Edward, all the boys and girls at home uh, that it smells and hopefully tastes a lot better than it looks. No, but it smells. If you have water, then it smells really good. Look, thank you, Mum. Your validation really is all I look for in life. Yeah. That's very kind of him. It's very true of him. Oh, you better enjoy your korma, Adam. I did make it for you. 
Ah, oh, great, thank you. Now I have more censoring work to do. Hello, Mum, Dad, Louis, Adam, anyone? <laughs> this is so strange. I literally haven't been alone, like on my own, I think in maybe three weeks, two and a half weeks. I used to love being on my own and like, I think that's because when I boarded, I was always with people and I was like, ah, go away. But now I'm like, I hate being on my own. I hate it. To the extent is I've lived by myself-ish for long enough that like, I don't want to be on my own. <laughs> I don't like it. I like having people around me, which is just like a 180 of what I thought my personality was. I'm like, no, I like being surrounded by people and now I'm like, <laughs> only people I really like. I don't really like, I'm not a big fan of acquaintances. Where is everyone? Uh, I, need, I need to finish editing, I need to finish watching my video and then upload it. I'm like, <laughs> does nobody love me? Oh, I can make some coffee. Coffee always loves me. I hope this is a semi-relatable thing of being in your very early 20s. Like, I know I'm not a child anymore, but I'm definitely not an adult. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, I still work with my parents. I think I keep wondering, it's like, do I still live at home though? Because I feel like on a technicality, I don't. But on the other technicality, I do. I live at home and I'm unemployed. That's always what you like to hear. Morning. Why <laughs> are you sick of seeing this top now? <laughs> the other actually really exciting thing that I really wanna like, get on is that Chris and I started making plans to go travel like at the end of this year. So I'm like, oh my God. Tiny baby steps, but like, you guys didn't know that's the whole reason I had a job, apart from, you know, growing up a bit. Or if you want to support a girl, I have, I do have actually got a red bubble shop. It's not just like, much of my face on it, but it's like, a lot of the, like, better photos I've taken, you can get them as like, prints and stuff. Red bubble is just a company that I think is really cool anyway. Independent artists, and me apparently, they upload their work, and then you can like, have it printed on like loads of different things, which are really cool. Not spot on, I just think, they're just a really cool co company. So if you guys want, like, I put a lot of stuff on Redbubble. I do have an idea, a very specific line, a very specific little collection of things I could do on there. I don't know what it could poss possibly be. I bought custard yesterday. I just want to tell all of you that. I bought custard yesterday. I had that disappointment of a creme anglaise. Like, it was just, that was not custard. I'm not being funny, but that's not custard. So I like put it in the shopping thing. And then Alan comes up to me and goes, oh, I wanted custard too, is that you've read my mind? I'm like, I know. If you want a really pointless fact about me in primary school, I don't know if I gave it to myself, I probably did, but I had like a little bit of a nickname of him, Custard Queen. So I don't know if that was, self-proclaimed or not, especially as a child. I love custard. So I haven't finished editing my film, but now I can colour grade it if I want to, which I have to. It's one of those things, I've got nothing of interest to film, so I just give you the most pointless updates possible. Stop, I'll stop, I'm sorry. If you guys are curious though, um, so this is what DaVinci looks like. I don't know what editing softwares I have, so I have Photoshop, Lightroom. It's like a little collage thing. Cutie Pro, Photos, my final cut. This is DaVinci, so this is the new one I got. This is Handbrake. This is um something that compresses videos. Um, it does it really, really, really well. So, and that was free to download. The DaVinci that I got, there's a free version and there's a not free version. I'm aware there's a DaVinci Resolve 6, uh, 15, but I'm worried about it being like buggy and stuff, so 15 it is. I'm just gonna screen record so you can see this properly. Basically, it just looks like any normal sort of editing software if you've ever seen it before. There's like a couple panels down here, right? This is where all the media is. This is the edit thingy. This is, so they have like an effects panel. So I think you can do loads of cool effects with this. But then the main thing is the color grading that they do. So you put your clip in and then you like do your thing. I'm not interested in the music, I'm not, yeah. So it's mainly, the main reason that I want it is the effects and the Colour grading because those are the things I can't do. So I need to like stop being a little bitch about it. I just need to do it. This is the other kind of um, editing software that I know there is that I haven't used. So if you guys want to learn to colour grade, I think maybe this is a good thing. And also if anyone's like, how how do you learn? So you can quite literally, ta-da, you can just, you know, Google a tutorial. That's it, that, that's the end of my tutorial or tutorials.
So me and one of my friends have decided that we are going to show each other around each other's respective former work area. You need some, you need some water. Yeah, that's how you know. String of tears, string of pearls, string of bananas. What are you? But you. One thing you definitely are is thirsty. Really rather quite fun. Maybe I can like take a picture of him and send it to the police. That would be a nice one. Here you go, honey. Here's your fast bug shop. I got my nails on there. I like the coffee here. That way is really nice. We're gonna go, we're gonna go round. Do you not think my parents would no, love I, a I, small wine fridge, I, Ellie? Because you know traditionally uh, room temperature was like 13, 14 degrees? No, maybe it's seven, no, it's 17 degrees. I'm not an embarrassing millennial. What um, I think we're just sure of being millennial. I mean, you took one of the photos of me, so. I did, I did take I need a top like that in my life, Ellie. Please. Where did you find it? But I want to do, but I need a guest to do it. Oh no. Oh my god, it looks so real as well. That's terrifying. Ooh. Ellie. <laughs> that, you do, that would be you as a pixie cut. That's right, that's an, that's an attractive gentleman there. But me. Slightly like Mr. I would, yes. I would date me. You would date me. I, I would date, date me. me. There is a girl I know who does her makeup like this, and it just looks, it looks like her. That's terrifying. Ellie, we meant to explore. It's two hours later. Well, Ellie, do you like noodles? Do you like what? Noodles. Boots. Noodles. What is it now that I make a smell of it in the comment? Oops. I can't do this with one hand, I'm not looking at things. <laughs> did you miss did my you concert not? in your head? No, 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 they didn't hear that. Okay, I'm gonna give the little baby a little his protein so he doesn't go. You know what I am? Without glasses, I start not seeing what's in it, it's in, in my plate. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Add a jungle broccoli. Blurry. And we've got a great like serving broccoli. like this. Your ank your back is gonna be so straight when you're older. Hey Emma. Yeah. Is this the kind of like revenge you take on me, Adam? Because I do this to you and incredibly annoying as a sibling. <laughs> so what Sorry, you... oh. Can you maybe tidy up some of your cooking stuff so I can get some spins? I'm having a moment with my custard mummy, so not right now. God, you're hiding in the kitchen. What? You're hiding in the kitchen. That's good, isn't it? That's where you're supposed to do it. So not in the living room. No. <laughs> My mother has never, ever forgiven. <laughs> oh, forgiven me? I was gonna say I did the living room. I don't want to eat through all of my clothes. Because that's the thing. I've made the executive decision that I am now going to be productive. I want to film minimum two videos. You won't have seen it yet, but I'm gonna change it up a bit. I think I'm done with shooting on my bedroom floor, guys. It's it's happening. The fact that I haven't shot on my bedroom floor in such a long time and that I'm trying to change, well, I'm not trying to change, but just things are changing. I just didn't think I can shoot on my bedroom floor anymore. I'm an adult now. May as well act like it. I'm just fondling my... <laughs> Fondling my plot that is over here that also desperately needs a drink. I'm um, sorry, I'm doing you so dirty right now, but there's people in my kitchen. My brother's being cheated in the kitchen, so I'm like. <laughs>
you would obviously notice. I'm setting up in the lounge because I'm a film today, like I said. I'm gonna film three videos, I hope. Just because I do want other things than just my vlogs. Like, I don't like how my channel is just like vlog, vlog, vlog. I do like doing other things, but it's like finding what the other things are. I don't do it like I used to. And that's the tea. Right, I'm gonna do my face. <laughs> my channel believe in all of the star time my battery is flashing why does this video not want to be a video thousands of tears later i've just finished filming a couple of videos i know we'll see them hopefully soon but i think i'm gonna call this vlog a day here a week here adam and i are now gonna get takeout jenny's takeout i'll see you guys very soon thank you very much for watching like subscribe and all my jazz and i'll see you guys very soon even though that twice anyway bye Noodles. Beats. Noodles. Noodles.